Hi, my name is Suba Agarwal and I'm a math expert. And today we're going to go over Pythagorean theorem I project ideas for middle school. So, one of the first things you can do is take a historical approach to math. And the reason you might want to do that is because um, sometimes math can be a little bit technical or convoluted and it's fun to kind of give it a background, kind of connect it back to history and something that's more understandable for kids, help them learn where it's coming from. So for example with Pythagoras, I doubt they would forget the Pythagorean theorem if you told them something like he refused to eat beans because uh, he was part of a very strange religious cult that he founded and some historians believe that the reason they refused to eat beans was because they thought people only had a certain amount of air in them and if they passed gas they would shorten their lifespan. That's one theory. I'm just saying middle schoolers are going to pay a little bit more attention if you tell them something like that. So have them give kind of like a historical presentation and then end with a theorem explaining a little bit more about it just to kind of make things fun, make things relatable. And the second idea would be real-life Pythagorean triangles. And this, again, is all about making math apply to real-life situations. So what you would want to do is find right angles, because that's what the Pythagorean theorem applies to in real life, like whether it be in an art piece or in a frame or in a building. Have them take a picture and a measurement, the different size, of like this side and this side and this side and then have them verify that the Pyth Pythagorean theorem does in fact hold in real life which will be kind of a cool wow moment for them. So those are some of my project ideas. My name is Suba Gerwal and thank you for taking an interest in math.